Public figures like Masai Ujiri are responsible for the sports world and society. Their actions and affiliations can influence public opinion and the causes they support. While it's essential to acknowledge the complexity of these associations and the potential for positive change through engagement, it's equally important to critically examine the implications of aligning with leaders whose actions contradict foundational principles of human rights and justice. The connection between Masai Ujiri and Paul Kagame underscores the intricate balance that public figures must navigate when engaging with political leaders who are linked to allegations of human rights abuses. Masai, interestingly, said he's Nigerian, he's Kenyan, he's Rwandese, he's... Let me tell you something similar to that. I was born here, I grew up in Uganda, my wife was born in Burundi, we met in Kenya, and we are here. <laughs> so, Africans, that's who we are. We are brothers, we are sisters. We are each other. I am you, you are me. Yeah. And the best way to bring that out to everyone is through talent of sport. Like today, these giants, they are giants, they will be in basketball, but they can be giants in everything else. And it is just a reminder that all of us, you and me and others, we know who are not here with us can be giants. I end on the note of saying, thank you, Masai. Thank you, the team that works with you. Thank you, Amadou, who is here with us. Who is part of this spirit and the team to promote Africa, our possibilities, and what we can be. And on a personal note, I thank you that uh, through these young people, you make us feel real giants. Thank you very much. Masai Ujiri's association with Kagame the ethical quandary of image laundering. In an age where global connections are increasingly prevalent, sports figures often navigate the intersection of sports, politics, and human rights. One such case that has recently garnered attention is the association between Masai Ujiri, a renowned figure in the basketball world, and Rwandan President Paul Kagame. The nexus between sports and politics is not new, but the dynamics surrounding Ujiri's association with Kagame raise critical ethical questions. The idea of Ujiri being roped into Kogame's efforts to cleanse his image on the international stage while human rights abuses continue unabated is a stark reminder of the complex choices faced by public figures when their actions impact more than just the sports arena. Paul Kogame's reputation has been marred by allegations of human rights abuses, including arbitrary arrests, imprisonments, and kidnappings of his political opponents. Kogane's leadership has been criticized for stifling dissent and suppressing freedom of the press. Human rights organizations and media outlets have extensively documented these allegations. Despite the open visibility of these concerns, 
It is disheartening to witness a prominent figure like Masai Ujiri align himself with a leader embroiled in such controversies. Masai Ujiri, widely respected for his contributions to the basketball community, is not just a sports personality but also a role model to many aspiring athletes. His success story, originating in Nigeria, and culminating in becoming the president of the Toronto Raptors, is inspiring and reflective of his dedication and hard work. However, this positive image is questioned when he associates himself with a leader like Kagame, whose actions directly contradict the values of human rights, justice, and freedom many admire Ujiri for. Despite the human rights allegations against him, Kogame's pursuit of international legitimacy is where the concept of image laundering comes into play. By leveraging partnerships with respected figures from the global arena, Kagame aims to divert attention away from the concerning aspects of his leadership. In this context, Ujiri's involvement can be seen as a means for Kagame to rebrand himself as a leader interested in positive change, even as his domestic record continues to raise concerns. Ujiri's association with Kagame can be interpreted in multiple ways. Ujiri may believe in using his platform to promote positive change, hoping his influence and interactions with Kagame might lead to discussions about human rights and reforms. However, this optimistic perspective is challenging to reconcile with the reality of Kogame's track record. The risk of Ujiri inadvertently lending credibility to Kogame's image-altering efforts is substantial and demands careful consideration.